This is CBeebies on YouTube. Find even more fun and games for your child at the CBeebies website. Jack and Nori, Jack and Nori. Jack and Nori. Tonight's story from the Good Night Storybook for Rebel Girls is about a very brave lady called Balkisa Chaibu. Now, Balkisa Chaibu sounds like a very silly name, but this was a very brave lady. There once was a girl who dreamt of becoming a doctor. Her name was Balkisa, and she was really good at school. One day, she learned to her horror, though, that her uncle had promised her in marriage to one of her cousins. Balkissa was horrified. You can't force me to get married, she said. I want to be a doctor, not a wife. Unfortunately, the country where Balkissa lived allowed parents and family members to arrange weddings for their daughters when they're still very young. Just let me stay in school five more years, she said. She begged her parents and eventually they agreed to postpone the marriage. But after five years of learning, Balkissa's love of studying had only grown stronger. The night before her wedding, she escaped from her house and she ran to the nearest police station to ask for help. She decided to challenge her uncle in court. Balkissa was terrified that this might turn her whole family against her, but her mum quickly encouraged her to keep fighting. The judge agreed with Balkissa and that when her uncle threatened her, he was forced to leave the country. The day I won the case and put my school uniform back on, Balkissa said, I felt my whole life was renewed. I was going to be a doctor. Today, Balkissa is at university, studying hard to become a doctor. She also campaigns for other young girls to follow her example and say no to getting married. And she visits schools and speaks to tribal chiefs about the issue. Study with all your might, she says. It's not easy, but it's your only hope. And that's the story of Balkisa Chaibu, who was born in Niger and resisted the wishes of her uncle to follow her own dreams of becoming a doctor. And now, it's time for bed. Boring.